If you're looking to launch a new website, or maybe you want to level up an existing website, having the right pages is the key to success. Hi, it's Alex here from Brainstorm Force. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you 13 must have pages that every business website needs to boost user experience, increase engagement, build trust, and drive results. I'm going to be diving into each page in some detail. I'm going to be sharing with you essential elements that you need on each one. I've also got some tips and tools that I'm going to be sharing with you that you can use to create these pages and also make them look fantastic. The first page we're going to be talking about is, of course, the home page. The home page is arguably the most important page on your website. It's often the page that your visitors land on first, and therefore it gives them the first impression of what your website is, who you are, and what you're all about. You can, of course, design your homepage however you like. However, I would recommend that you include the following things. First off, give a clear value proposition. Maybe use a hero box for this. Make it clear in just a few seconds what it is you're offering. Make sure you include high quality visuals on the homepage. These could be photographs or graphics. And ideally, you want them to be original. Try not to use stock photography if you can help it. In most cases, you'll want to include testimonials and client logos if you have them. This builds trust and credibility and shows that you know what you're talking about. You'll probably want your visitors to carry out some kind of action. Maybe you want them to buy something. Maybe you want them to contact you. Make this very clear include some very strong calls to action. Use some clear buttons and typography so the visitor knows exactly what you want them to do. On your homepage, you can also include a brief overview of your products and services. But of course, you'll want to include more detail on these on your products and services pages. If you publish blog content on your website, you might want to include the latest posts on your homepage too. You probably won't want to include the entire article, just an excerpt with a link through to the full article so visitors can quickly and easily navigate to it. Speaking of links, the homepage should have plenty of links to internal pages. So for example, where you've added testimonials, there should be a link so people can click through and learn more about your clients and read more testimonials. Your goal with the homepage is to quickly and clearly communicate what your website is all about. And then it needs to guide your visitors through to other important pages. One way to get a great homepage up and running quickly and easily is to use a theme like Astra that comes with a whole load of built-in templates that you can use straight away. All of the templates with Astra include a professionally designed homepage that you can then customize to fit your needs. Next up is the About Us page. This page is all about building trust and establishing a personal connection with your visitors. You're going to want to include a bit of history about yourself or maybe your company. Whatever it is your website's about, tell people the story about how it came to be. Include images and biographies of your team members and, of course, yourself and any other relevant information. If you've won any awards or you've got some other recognition, make sure you include that on your About Us page too. By the time a visitor's finished reading your About Us page, they should know who you are, what you are, and your core values and goals. An easy way to put together a great looking About Us page is to use a page builder like Spectra, which is a free plugin for WordPress. It works with any WordPress theme, and it includes blocks, patterns, and pages specifically designed to help you create a wonderful About Us page. The third page I've got for you, and this is an important one, is your products and services page. This page is absolutely crucial. You're gonna to wanna to include some detailed information about what you offer, what your products are, and what your services are. Make sure you include comprehensive descriptions, some great imagery, and again, Try not to use stock photography. Use real images of your people or of your products or you out in the field delivering your service. Give it some real authenticity. If you want to include pricing information, it should be on this page. And Spectra, again, has a really nice pricing block that you can use to lay out your pricing in a good-looking table. A key part of a products and services page is the features and benefits. Explain what people are going to get when they buy your product and services. Lay it out in a really nice and clear way. Don't use too many big lumps of text. Use things like bullet points and call-outs so it's very obvious what you're going to deliver. The objective with this page is to help your customers understand 
how you can help them, how you can meet their needs. Of course, Spectra and indeed Astra Theme have loads of built-in features to help you create an amazing looking products and services page that's gonna tick all of the boxes that I've just mentioned. The fourth page I've got for you is the Contact Us page. This page has one key objective, make it easy and effortless for your visitors to get in touch with you. You wanna include a contact form, but make sure the form's not too long. Get rid of any unnecessary fields. People just don't like filling in long forms. Keep it short and sweet and to the point. And remember, you can always get more information from your visitors once they've completed the initial form. The two fields that are absolutely essential are of course, name and email address, but then you may also want to include phone number and a box for a short message. You'll also want to include your physical address on this page if you have one, any telephone numbers, a map, and links to all of your social media profile. If you're a store or you operate during certain times of the day, include your opening hours here too. There are a number of plugins available for WordPress that can help you create some really nice forms. One of my favorite form plugins is Shoreforms. You can install it for free from the WordPress plugin directory. It's a really easy to use form builder. In fact, it's even got a AI form builder so you can quickly create forms for your website. The next must have page I've got for you is testimonials and case studies. This page, like your About Us page, is there to build trust and credibility. On this page, you're gonna to wanna to showcase things like customer quotes and customer testimonials, maybe some before and after scenarios, tell some stories about how you were able to meet a customer's needs and just make their life or their business so much better. Maybe include some success metrics. If you've got some numbers, some graphs, put them here too. They're all great at building trust. To make this page even better, why not include some video testimonials if you have them? And by the way, have you seen Presto Player? It's a great way to showcase video testimonials. Do go check it out, you'll find a link in the description. Try and include as much as you possibly can on this page. As I said, detailed stories and case studies are all fantastic ways to show your potential customers that you know what you're doing and that you deliver results. A bonus tip when it comes to testimonials, if you've got some short quotes from your clients, they don't all have to go on the testimonials page, you can place them on other pages too so that your visitors see them when they're navigating around your website. The next must have page is a blog page or a news page. This is where you establish authority and show that you're a thought leader in your industry. It's also great for SEO. If you create articles around topics and subjects that people are searching for on Google, there's a good chance that if your articles are of a good quality and that you have a few links coming to them, that they will rank well on the search engines. So on here, you wanna share informative articles. You wanna share some of your expertise and knowledge. You wanna offer things of use and of value. Articles that people can actually read and get some benefit from. A blog or a news page is also a great place to share industry news and updates. Finally, as well as industry news, you're probably gonna to wanna to share news about your company, about what you've been up to, about any new products and services or new projects that you've been working on. I'd recommend that you allow people to leave comments on your articles, and if people do leave comments, make sure that you engage with them, reply to them one by one, and thank them for their input. The one thing that you don't wanna do with your news and your blog is let it go stale and out of date. Make sure that you're publishing content regularly. Keep it nice and fresh. And when you do publish something new, make sure you share it across your social media channels and maybe to your email list as well. The next page I've got for you is the Frequently Asked Questions page, also known as the FAQ page. The FAQ page is there to address common questions, those questions that you're getting asked all the time. By getting this page right, you're gonna help your visitors out but you're also gonna decrease your customer service workload. Make sure that you keep the questions nice and clear and give some concise answers. You might wanna categorize the questions so it's very easy for people to navigate and find the question that they need. If you have some resources 
on your website or maybe on other websites that are useful for the particular question that you're answering, make sure that you include links to them here too. To make it even easier for people to find the question they're looking for, you could include a search functionality on this page. And finally, a bit like the blog, make sure that you keep it updated regularly. As you get new questions coming in from people, remember to include them on your FAQ page. The Spectra Page Builder comes with a really nice FAQ block that enables you to create a good looking FAQ page really quickly and easily. Okay, so let's move on to some of those legal pages. First up, we've got the privacy page, or is it privacy? I'm gonna call it the privacy page. A privacy page is probably a legal requirement in the country that you're based but it's also a good way of building trust. On your privacy page, you wanna outline the information that you collect, how you use data that is collected and how that data is protected. You also wanna include information about your cookie policy and any third party disclosures. Make sure that you're really transparent with how you handle everyone's data that is collected by your website. Putting together one of these pages can feel quite overwhelming. You may wanna get the help from a lawyer to help you or alternatively, you can use a tool to help you generate it. One of my favorites that I use on a lot of my websites is IUBenda, or it could be EUBenda. Not quite sure how you pronounce it. I'll put a link to it in the description. It's a great tool. You basically answer a few questions and it will generate your privacy policy for you. Another one that's worth a look is TermsFeed which you can find over at termsfeed.com. Again, you go through a few questions and it will create the page for you. The next legal page I've got for you is the terms and conditions page. This is similar to the privacy policy as it's probably a legal requirement and it also builds trust. Make sure you include things like the user responsibilities, details about intellectual property rights, dispute resolution guidelines, liability limitations, all that good legal stuff that you always find in terms and conditions. This page is there to protect you. So you may want to get the advice from a lawyer when you're putting together your terms and conditions page. If you don't wanna pay out for a lawyer, you might wanna check out one of the tools that I've already mentioned. IUBender have a terms and conditions feature where you can generate the page within their interface. Or again, you can check out uh, termsfeed.com, they've got a terms and conditions generator too. Okay, so that's the legal stuff out the way. Let's move on to a page that makes it easier for people and search engines to navigate your website. I am of course talking about a sitemap page. A sitemap is basically a nice structured list of all of the content on your website. It should include things like pages, categories, and posts so that both search engines and visitors can easily navigate their way through your website. At the top of your sitemap, I suggest you include a hierarchical list of your pages. Then you're gonna to wanna to include a list of your blog posts and their categories. And then if you're running e-commerce, you'll also wanna include a list of your products. This page is there to make it really easy to find information and see in a very visual way the structure of your website. As well as a sitemap page for your visitors, you should also include an XML sitemap which is a sitemap page for search engines. This XML page is great for SEO because you can submit it to search engines like Google and Bing. For example, with Google, if you sign up for their search console, you can easily submit it in there. And that gives Google a good understanding of your website and helps them crawl it successfully. To get these pages generated quickly and easily, do check out Rank Math, which is a free SEO plugin, and that can do both the HTML page, which is the page for your visitors, and the XML sitemap for the search engines. The next must-have page may not actually apply to all of you out there. This page is the press and media page. So if you have been featured in the press or in the media, or you've done any kind of PR, then you definitely wanna have this page. On it, include your latest press releases, include some contact information of people within your organization that journalists can reach out to if they want some help with a story. As with all the pages on your site, make sure that you include high resolution images and videos if you've got them. Finally, to increase your trustworthiness and credibility even further, include links to all of the articles and places where you're featured on other people's websites, especially those big news websites. The next page that you may want, I think it's pretty essential if you're a business, but it depends on what your website is. 
This page is the careers page. If you've got some job openings or vacancies within your organization, having a good careers page can help you attract some of the best people. On this page, of course, you wanna include the latest vacancies, but you also wanna include some of the benefits that you get for working within your organization. Make it really easy for people to apply for the vacancies and also include some insights into company culture and what it's like to actually work within your team. The final page I've got for you is one that's often overlooked. And that is the good old 404 error page. Now, hopefully your visitors won't encounter this page very often, but it's inevitable some of them will. So when they do hit this dead end, make it very clear on what they should do next. By the way, it's really easy to edit the 404 page within WordPress by using Astra Pro. In fact, we've got a full article on the Astra website that takes you through exactly how you can do that. I'll put a link to that article in the description. When you're putting together your 404 page, make sure you include a friendly error message, maybe with a nice little graphic too. You'll also want to include a search bar so visitors can easily navigate on to the destination on the information that they're looking for. You'll also want to include links to popular pages on your website, and then also include an option to report the broken link that brought them to the 404 page in the future. With the 404 page, you want to try and turn that negative experience of hitting a 404 page into something positive. To find out if visitors are encountering a 404 error on your website, the Rank Math SEO plugin that I've already mentioned includes a feature where they log all the 404s and you can go through that and try and figure out what's broken and where people are coming from and why they're hitting the 404 page. And there we have it. There are the 13 must-have pages that you need on your website. Remember, Astra Theme and Spectra both have lots of tools and features to help you create fantastic looking pages. You should also check out Zip WP. It's a really great tool if you want to play around with different design ideas, try out different plugins before you actually put them live on your website. If you are thinking of creating or indeed moving your website to Astra Theme, be sure to check out our full video tutorial. You can find it on the Brainstorm Force channel. I'll put a link to it in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Did I forget a page? Is there a page that you put on all your websites? Let me know in the comments. I do read all the comments that we get. I would love to hear from you. If you did enjoy the video, click the like button. Make sure you're subscribed and click the bell for notifications. But until next time, good luck with your websites. See you later.